Hello, MCU fans. Today, we're going to look at the question of whether Eternals 2, the movie, and Moon Knight Season 2 on Disney Plus are coming as part of Phase 6. Now, I kind of expected we would get both Eternals 2 and Moon Knight Season 2. I just wasn't sure when. But some interesting things have happened recently that make it seem like maybe, and maybe even probably, these will be part of Phase 6. So let's dive right in and see what we can learn. Now, at Comic-Con, we got a lot of information about Phase 5. But for Phase 6, there were eight dates left open for movies and shows. Uh, of course, we learned about Fantastic Four. We learned about the two Avengers movies. But those eight slots, if you will, were left open. Likely at D23 and Disney Plus Day, we'll learn more about those eight positions. But for now... Um, you know, there's a lot of questions. I actually did a video about what I thought would go in those slots, uh, and you can watch that if you're interested. But I admit, I didn't expect uh, Eternals 2 or Moon Knight Season 2 to be in those slots. Not, not because I'm not interested in them. I, I am. I'd like to see both. I just didn't think with so many other options that those two would make it in. However, a couple things have happened that have made it seem likely they're going to take some of those slots. So Patton Oswalt went on the Today Show and was talking to Al Roker. And it was just interesting because Al Roker kind of just brings up Eternals and the Marvel Universe uh, pretty randomly, keeping in mind Eternals has been out for, what, a year? Uh, so we all know Patton Oswalt played Pip the Troll. But it kind of just comes up, and Patton Oswalt says, oh, yeah, yeah, um, there's going to be an Eternals 2 that's been announced, and... Uh, uh, Chloe Zhao is going to be uh, directing it again, which that I hadn't heard. Uh, I, I'm glad. I, I liked her style. Um, but, you know, the announcement just kind of just came out of nowhere. Now, Patton Oswalt knows what he's doing. I mean, this is a guy who has had multiple roles in the MCU. Uh, if for anybody that watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., he had um, <laughs> incredible uh, characters. Uh, there were multiple Patton Oswalt's. And of course, he voiced Modoc, uh, not maybe as successful, but still interesting. Uh, and then, of course, now he's Pip the Troll. So Patton knows how to work with Marvel and knows what to say and not say. I do not believe there is even a chance it was an accident that this discussion occurred. I'm going to bet Al uh, had been suggested, Al Roker had been suggested to bring the topic up. And then Patton dropped all that. Why, though? Why would that happen? And why do I think it might have happened? Well, because let's face it, Eternals wasn't the most popular movie out there. I enjoyed it, but a lot of people did not. So if one of those eight slots up there were to be filled with Eternals 2, I am going to guess there will be some disappointed people. Because there's only eight slots. And to have one of them taken up by a sequel to a fairly controversial movie... Um, you know, not controversial in the topic, just in the way it was presented. Um, I think that would disappoint folks, potentially. And Feige is a genius. So my guess is this was intentional to get it out there and get it in our minds. Folks, Eternals 2 is coming. And honestly, there's a lot to follow up in that movie. I mean, the end of the movie had some major things happen that, that have left people wanting more to, to, to get resolution. Plus, the Eternals may factor into Secret Wars, which of course is November 7th of 2025. So I, I had assumed we would get Eternals eventually. I just didn't think it would be in phase six. But what do you think? Do you think that was a staged discussion? Do you think there's any chance Patton Oswalt would mess up that badly? And by the way, wouldn't Tom Holland be roasting Patton right now? <laughs> Because poor Tom Holland gets accused of always uh, letting secrets slip, so they, he would be Tom Holland would be roasting him. Um, uh, Anthony Mackie would be roasting him. So anyway, I I think that was Feige trying to get it in our minds in advance of D twenty three. One of those slots is Eternals. Then we look at the fact that Muhammad Diab and Oscar Isaac were on TikTok doing an interview, and were in in Cairo, and. Muhammad Dihab was asked, is there going to be a Moon Knight season two? And he kind of acts surprised. So I captured that picture. That is a surprised look. Uh, maybe a false surprised look, but a surprised look. But then Oster Isaac raised an eyebrow and said, well, why else would we be here? So 
that's not as clear cut of a, hey, we're getting a season two as Patton Oswalt basically saying Eternals 2 is greenlit and the director's working on it as we speak. But again, these two, uh, Diab and, and Isaac, they understand the Marvel game. They're bless his heart. They're not Tom Holland. <laughs> they're not gonna 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 accidentally mess up and and give away something that, that isn't supposed to be given away. Now, honestly, a Moon Knight season two might go over better with fans if it stole one of those slots. But still, there are so many things that were considered for those slots that, uh, I don't know, maybe Moon Knight Season 2 fans wouldn't want to fill one of those. So I can't help but wonder, since both of these happened around the same time, if this wasn't Kevin Feige trying to, you know, get some things in our minds so that when he gets on the stage and announces them, well... (laughs) In the case of Eternals 2, at least, he doesn't get booed. You know, again, I don't, I don't think that would happen, but I, there are just some people that really would be okay if there was no more Eternals. So what do you think? Do you think either of these cases, either Eternals or uh, Moon Knight Season 2, do you think that these were brought up intentionally, these quote-unquote slips? Uh, do you think this is Kevin Feige prepping us for a couple of the things that are going to be said at D23? Or do you think it's, you know, much ado and nothing and that really they're not happening or they're happening in phase seven or eight or 10 or whenever, right? Let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think. Uh, I'd love it if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and uh, check out some more videos. And in the meantime, continue to enjoy the ever-expanding, ever-growing Marvel Cinematic Universe.